In this video, we're going to learn to use the Auto Border tool, which will be shown on our top toolbar once we've selected some embroidery to use it with. And to get started, I'm going to click on my Browser tab and quickly create some embroidery from the CMX artwork. Now that I have this on my screen, I could use a selection window to drag a box to select all of the objects. And now you see the tool at the top called Auto Border. And Auto Border is the tool that if we click it on, will open up this window which gives you the ability to set the parameters for this function. And the first question is to the inside or to the outside. And what that means is when it creates this border, do you want it to be, because we get to set a distance. So if I put this distance at zero, then I guess it will go directly around the shapes. But if I have the distance set at two millimeters, it means to the outside of all of these shapes, it will make a border at two millimeters. And right now it's set to repeat 10 times, which means it will make 10 borders. I'm gonna just adjust that to begin with number one border, and we'll go from there. Then when it creates the border, what type of border do you want to have? In other words, do you want satin stitches, run stitches, paint zigzag, paint line, cut, or stencil? And of course, once this border is created, we can always select these objects and change them. So perhaps I'll just start with a simple run stitch, two millimeters around the outside of my shape, and say OK. And so you can see the shape that's been created. And notice the areas that are inside of the shape here. Those could be avoided. I'm going to hit undo so that you see there's no border created right now. And I have my embroidery design selected. And if I choose auto border again and tell it to remove holes, then it will understand that it only needs a border around the outside. Now this time I didn't change the stitch from a satin serial to a single run line, and so we got a satin serial. Uh, perhaps I don't like the way that it goes around the inside here. Maybe I just like to come kind of clean across. Of course I could use the Edit Nodes tool to edit these nodes, but I'm also going to show, rather than using that technique, I'm going to say Undo. And Run Auto Border again, and if I increase the distance, it was so close at that point, maybe just even three millimeters. Let's see, at three millimeters, it still kind of has a small amount of... Let's do undo and try again. Auto border. Four millimeters. And say OK. And make it a run stitch. There you have it. So see what it did now? And because I've moved away from the embroidery four millimeters, the border didn't contour on the inside. So if you have room to, you know, to spare, then you can change the distance. If not, undo. If you wanted to have, oops, not export, auto border. If you wanted to have this smaller as it was in the beginning in two millimeters, and you didn't want these stitches here, then we could simply use the Edit Nodes tool and select all of those nodes that are on the inside and delete them. And then still we would need to um, deal with the fact that the two remaining nodes were um, cusp nodes that had angle points that were affecting them. And in fact, if we just select them both and right click and tell that to smooth those nodes, well, that's not going to help. Undo. We're going to select it again, right click, and change them to be smooth nodes. Auto smooth node. There you go. Auto smooth node looks good. So anyhow, auto border tool works to the outside and to the inside. And perhaps what we could do is just create a simple shape, like a parallelogram or a trapezoid, and select our shape and choose auto border. And let's try to the inside instead of the outside. And so at a distance of two millimeters, how many repeats? Well, let's put enough that it goes all the way to the center. I don't know how many that is, but if I put 10, it'll only create as many as are possible. 
and I'll have it choose to create a run stitch to the inside every two millimeters up to 10. And so you see the results. It's created a series of objects, which each one can be selected. See that? And you can control. They're all starting out as run stitches with no fill stitches. I could add fill stitch to this, remove the run stitch, you know, select this one, change the border from a run line to a satin serial, change the color to red, select this one, maybe try a, a style of stitching, change its color. So you get the idea. You can select all of those shapes and change the appearance. So once you use auto border, what you're doing is you're creating a duplicate of that shape. And so let's do one more shape, maybe a pie shape. If I select my pie shape and run auto border and leave the distance set at zero and leave this set at one, basically I'll be duplicating the shape, which isn't really necessarily any different than copying and pasting. Um, a second copy of the of the shape but it basically performs the same purpose so that is how you can use the auto border tool to create new shapes based on one or more shapes that you have selected